So just a really quick video based on the question I got. It was possible if you had more than one screen, like for instance three screens, to split up the skin and put some of the stuff on the other screens. And the, uh, the idea that this guy had was to use the other screens for a huge sample section and for the browser section. And yes it is, but not with the default skin. So that's something that's built into some of the other skins. And the one I know the best is Blocks. So let me try going to Blocks here. That's something you can download here from under Extensions, like Skins and Blocks, like right here. I already had it installed, so I'll just select it on the interface. So let me do a 4 deck one, this one. So that just looks like a, a, an ordinary 4 deck skin now. Um, and with a few uh, little extra things, I'm going to minimize this one too. So now it really much looks like a standard one, right? So what am I doing? Well, I'm trying to dock this part, or detach, and detach this part, the sampler. So how do I do that? Well, there's actually buttons for that. So for the browser, it's this one, browser section. Now I have a browser section decoupled here. It's also here, but it's also here. And uh, the, uh, the sampler section, that's the one with the drum here. That's now detached. It's also still here, but now it's also here. So what I can do now is I can actually resize this. So it's going to be huge. So it's going to take up the entire screen. And then if it's set up correctly, so I have instead extended screens like you would normally do, you can simply drag and drop it to the other screen. I'm just going to drag it to about here um, because then you can still see it. Otherwise, you can't see it because of my screen capture, right? So I'll just leave it there, but you can imagine it, it's going to go onto the first screen, the screen to the left. And the same thing with the, uh, the browser section. So that I could actually make that really big and then maximize it all the way up and then put it to the first screen, the, screen to, uh, the third screen, the screen to the right. And it still works. I can still drag and drop for it from over here and then drag and drop to deck four like that. Still works fine. So now I have used all three screens, screen one for all the samples in a huge sample bank. And then over here, screen A3 is for my browser section, right? Even though I left a little bit here, just so we can see it in the, in the video recording. But then we, we still have all the stuff over here. So what's that about? Well, we can do a few things about that. First of all, we don't need to keep the sampler here. If I select something else, like for example, the site list, then I still have the sampler over here. So that's still up there, DJed, so I can actually have a, a second list if I want to. And uh, another thing I can do is I can start enabling more features here to take up some of the space that's currently used by all this stuff. So I can say, well, I actually want my patch section. I want an effects section here uh, for each deck. And maybe I want to do some, uh, some re recording blocks so I can record. I can do something with input output if I want to. And I could also, uh, I could also put in a something, oh, that was this one. I could also put in something about video, so that here. So now I've actually taken up all this space. Let me just open it up a little bit again. So another option is that just to keep this thing, which is just the spinning thing with all the, uh, the artwork. So uh, leave that, say, well, that's the only part I really want to keep, and then simply minimize all this stuff. So nothing of that, we don't want the side view and we don't want the folder section. Then we just have this little uh, spinning um, uh, artwork thing, where you can also use to, to, to mark stuff down here. And all the rest is actually left over here in the folder section. And then of course you have the sample section uh, over here on screen one and three. So that was just one idea using uh, the block skin where you can uh, do stuff like this to use multiple uh, screens if you have them. And uh, there's also other ways you can do it. You can configure it in other ways. You can drag and drop it around in other sizes and stuff like that. So you can play with that. But that was just the, the general idea for doing this kind of thing using the block skin.